I have been told by a reliable source connected to Slipknot that over the last couple of weeks, Slipknot fans have been searching for answers for a number of important questions after the shocking announcement that Jay Weinberg was no longer a member of the band. Jay was in Slipknot for 10 years. He was well-liked by Slipknot fans. He stepped into an impossible position after Joey Jordison's departure, one of the most beloved metal drummers of all time. Impossible situation, but somehow Jay won the fans over with his playing, um, likable individual. And so that really came as a surprise to me and millions of Slipknot fans wondering how this could happen. The reality is we're never gonna get an answer as to why exactly he left. If you look at the past with Slipknot, which is Slipknot doesn't really open up about this kind of stuff. So we're gonna all speculate. And when the speculation happens, Slipknot doesn't opine on that either. They don't really seem to care about what people think. They just kind of keep it to themselves and keep it moving. When that J news came out, there were a lot of names that were immediately thrown out. Just as with any lineup change in a band, there were people saying, well, this kind of lines up with Mike Mangini. You know, I said, hey, just a natural guess would be Simon, he's related. You know, he's Clown's son from Vended. Um, I have no idea. And there's so many other names that also could make sense. And you're like, oh yeah, they could do it. But Slipknot, we, I don't think we've ever really predicted who's gonna join the band. So what's interesting is this has been a really transitional year for Slipknot. They have gotten out of that career long record deal with Roadrunner, their entire career up to this point, they've had that deal. Now they're out, they can do whatever they want. The sky's the limit. They can do, you know, independent releases. They could partner with someone else. They could release singles instead of albums. I don't know that they've truly decided what they want to do yet, but in addition to that, and with Jay Weinberg's departure, it's also easy to lose sight of the fact that this is the second member change in just a couple of months in Slipknot. Earlier this year, after 27 years with the band, Craig Jones was announced that he had parted ways with Slipknot. A very brief statement from the band, which is already uncharacteristically brief in their statements. This was even more brief. This was exactly what came out at the time back in June when they made that shocking announcement. They wrote, to our fans, Slipknot is announcing that we parted ways with Craig Jones. We wish Jones all the best for the future. Craig Jones joined Slipknot all the way back in 1996. Jay Weinberg, for his part, when his departure was announced, he didn't say anything for a few days. A lot of people were wondering if it was even real because they said the Slipknot announcement was deleted. They did the same thing with Craig I would imagine they did the same thing with Joey. They just have a history of, they just kind of, once you get it and you hear about it, they take it down. And I think there's a lot of people who are unhappy right now and, and are, you know, making their estimates on whether or not they want to support Slipknot going forward, whether or not, you know, they like them anymore. They think it's become, a lot of people have said it's become very corporate. The problem is when you say that, we know in 2019, there was that kind of dispute with uh, Chris Fain and his departure, but we don't know anything about why Craig left. And Craig hasn't said anything. Craig doesn't really talk at all, but Craig hasn't said anything. Jay didn't say in his statement, he, said, he didn't say anything. I'm trying, I was trying to get more money and they wouldn't give it to me. He didn't say anything like that. He said he was blindsided. So he didn't say I went to them and asked them for more money. You know what? Well, he just said he was shocked, which means there was really no discussion about anything and Slipknot in their statement said it was a creative decision. Sometimes face value is like more boring than, you know, some sort of like hostile contractual dispute behind the scenes. I could be wrong about this though. But this was what brings me to my main point. With all of this talk, it's easy to lose sight that Craig Jones is no longer in the band. But I wanna go back to that point because almost immediately after Craig Jones' departure was announced, it was said that, you know, Zach Baird, we think he's the new guy. He's been the keyboardist in Korn. He's been, apparently he was a keyboardist in Ghost for a time as well. No longer with either group. Apparently very good. So a lot of people thought it was him. And I think it's fair to say that this was pretty much widely accepted 
that Zach is in the band after a picture posted by a very mischievous member of Slipknot, Tortilla Man, and uh, very well, another very well-liked member of the band who we had so much fun with when he was first joining the group and has been a great addition to the band. He posts this selfie back, I guess, a couple of weeks after this that pretty much I talked about it here on the channel. Uh, everyone else talked about it, which is basically Slipknot's Tortilla Man accidentally confirms that, you know, the new member of Slipknot. And this is how that happened. It was this dressing room selfie on Tortilla Man's Instagram story that he posted and deleted a short time later, inconspicuously in front of a clothing rack where you can just over his head see name tags above wardrobe for members of the group. What you see are the members that look very familiar. Mick, we all know Mick, we all love Mick. Then you see right behind that, Zach. Everybody, I, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, this has pretty much been widely accepted at this point, but just like when Tortilla Man himself joined the band, this Mike Poff joined the band, this wasn't confirmed for a very long time. Slipknot's website hasn't confirmed who it is on their website. Let me show you. So they have all the name members on here. I just want to show this to you. Obviously, Corey Taylor. Look, that's confirmed. Mike Poff, Tortilla Man, it's on their website. And it's almost like Slipknot needs us to unlock who the people are before they'll tell us. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. And if we look back at the past, Slipknot pretty much just goes, yeah, you got him once we figure it out. That's kind of become a trend is you got to figure it out. V-Man, Mick Thompson, Sid Wilson, James Root, Clown, no name. No name. Even after everyone said it's Zach Baird. So this is where it gets interesting. I have been told by a reliable source connected to Slipknot that Zach Baird is not in the band, despite popular belief to the contrary, largely based on that photograph. Zach Baird is not in Slipknot, from what I am being told. And so now we're facing this situation where I think a lot of us thought, hey, we'd figured that out. If you look at Slipknot's website, they're not acknowledging that. And again, it was widely reported. So at that point, if it were true, I think they would just go, as they have in the past, Let's update the website, or however they unveil it. But um, this is still unsolved. And you have now the drumming situation as well. People don't have any idea, but I just wanna take it back to that keyboardist and sampler. We don't know who that is. It is not Zach Baird, from what I am told. We need to go back to the drawing board on this and continue digging to try and see who this is because I, I believe at this point Slipknot is not going to tell us who new members of the band are unless we figure it out. And I totally understand that there are those of you who are like, you know what? I'm fed up. That's fine. That's okay. The stuff that I see that I have a problem with is when people are like online attacking spouses and family members of the band. And I think like, do what you want. Like listen to whatever you want. You don't have to like, agree with stuff. But I don't think people should be reaching out to family members of members of Slipknot and going, like, you know, tell them that I said that this is awful and they suck. It's like, they don't have anything to do with that shit. Anyway, so I still think we need to figure that out, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comments as always. And for updates on Slipknot and all your favorite rock and metal bands, hit that subscribe button right here.